found ourselves a new home, a window on the world from which we proudly begin a new chapter in morning television. Good morning. And welcome to today on a Monday morning. Welcome to Studio 1A. For a quarter of a century, our today home has been Studio 1A. Hey, everybody. Welcome to today. Thanks for joining us. A street side studio on 49th Street in the heart of Manhattan. I remember when the plaza was reopened. I would wake up in the morning and watch Bryant and Katie. And I remember back then thinking, that that looks like a lot of fun. Today's show movie critic Gene Shalit took the move literally. Hey, men, look safe. Here we go. Once a bank, a vision for the new studio was drawn, blueprints made, and a time lapse recorded. This pioneering, exciting, innovative return to the past in a way, return to the Today Show's past. The Today Show premiered in 1952 with a windowed studio at a time when television was a new invention. Part of our cast is you, uh, you the public at least. See, we're in a big glassed-in kind of fishbowl here. We can look out the window, as you see, and see the people who are looking in at us anytime. And we see all sorts of fascinating folks. Yes, I watch it every, well, every time I get a chance to. From regular folks to prominent ones, like former President Harry S. Truman stopping by on a morning stroll. And thus, this unusual picture. To President Clinton taking questions from the crowd. Will we be able to have our 30th high school reunion being held at the White House? <laughs> <laughs> to our presidential town halls and our celebration of International Day of the Girl. Mrs. Obama, good morning. Today's show's past echoes its present. From the legendary Duke Ellington jamming in the 50s to our first performance outside the plaza, Earth, Wind, and Fire in the 90s, beginning a new trend in morning television, summer concerts. The following program is brought to you in... In the mid-60s, NBC became the first network to broadcast in color. When we went to color, the cameras of the day couldn't handle the different changes of light. To avoid the changing sunlight, today moved inside to a traditional studio until we return to our roots, our window on the world. When they brought the window back, you knew it was a Today Show immediately because the show almost opened up this fourth dimension. We love it when people come because it connects us to the people who are watching. For those few moments when you come to the plaza, we get to see you right back.